is 21 year old James Jones the third. He was killed in the third shooting that happened as hundreds of people at Pat Jacksonville Beach. And we're now hearing for the first time the 911 calls as the shootings were happening. You can hear just how chaotic and confusing a situation it was. Black Beach 911. There's shots fired on, on First Street. Yes, we have officers down there. Do you see anything? I hear, I still hear them. Jack Beach 911. Hi, um, somebody's shooting at the beach. I'm at Salt Jack. Yes, are you injured? I'm sorry, I can't hear you, but I'm at somebody's shooting. Active shots fired on Jack, a Jack Beach Bars. Uh, Jack Beach Bars, I think it's uh, right near Tavern. Have you seen anything? Or do you hear no, it? I didn't. I'm, I walked out of the bar. They're still shooting. You can see on this map, the shootings happen within blocks of each other. Tonight, a local African-American pastor is speaking out against the violence. Yeah, Tarek uh, is here and spoke with Pastor Mark Griffin with the Wayman Temple AME Church and says, Tarek, is he sad to see so many African-American youth involved in this mayhem? Yeah, Pastor Mark Griffin says African-American religious leaders were very vocal about the racist dollar general murders last year. He says pastors haven't hesitated to voice their opinions about the alleged mistreatment of minorities at the hands of local law enforcement. So Griffin called the activities that led up to three shootings on Sunday disorganized chaos that he says has no place in Jacksonville. I was just so disappointed to see a group of African-American young people um, involved in that type of activity. But let me, let me say, um, they don't represent all African-American youth in this city. We have tens of thousands of young people. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. They do represent, they represent African-American. That's, every shooting in Jacksonville is an African-American. So that they, and most of them are young African-Americans. So they represent African-Americans. All of them listen to, the little gangster rappers from 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 Julio Fulio and Kodak Black, all of them listen to that. Real rap. And yeah, all of them are in that culture. Now, here's the thing. Yes, are there some? Yes. But like you said earlier, Pastor, when that white guy shot a bunch of black people in the Dollar General last year, y'all still talking about that one shooting. There have been hundreds of shootings since that shooting. And you're still talking about that one. He killed three people, I think, in a Dollar General. You're still talking about that. You're not talking about the the tens of thousands of shootings before that. I think that guy, that group did five in 24 hours, right? That was Birmingham. This is Jacksonville. But yeah, same thing, same thing. This was three, three shootings within like 30 minutes that are going to school every day. Where's your, where's your next number? Pastor Mark Griffin, who's spending part of his spring break mentoring and tutoring young local students, says he realizes not everyone at Jacksonville Beach on Sunday was engaged in the activities that led up to three separate shootings. But he says we can't escape the fact that those involved were primarily young black men and women. He says it's important city leaders deal with issues like these united. And all of us, whether we're black or white, we have to take a stand and say enough. Oh, so now white people got to take a stand for for, for, for fucking sun turd violence. White people it got to work together with you when any other time they're nothing but racist, privileged, um, suspected white supremacists with unconscious bias. But now we black everybody's got to take a stand and no. No, white people don't have to take a stand against this. White people have to take a stand against this. They don't have to stand with you to try to solve this problem. White people need to take a stand against this and try to fucking get you Negroes locked up and taken off the streets. And white people need to separate themselves from you. White people don't need to take a stand and try to come to give you free shit and programs and shit, more fucking programs to try to fucking help you with a problem that there's no solution to. White people need to fucking distance themselves from you and get sick the fucking police on you. Press one. Whether we're black or white, we have to take a stand and say enough is enough. No more. We have to find a way to solve this issue, whether it's happening at Jack's Beach, Valencia Way, 
Justina, um, Hilltop, wherever it is, if there's crime and violence going on, we cannot stand on the sidelines. Griffin wants local teenagers and college students to know when they see large gatherings of people in an unorganized event with no security or no one in charge, it's Run. likely a place they should not be in search of a good time. Griffin also had this to say about the Jacksonville Beach Police Department's response and the local community's reaction after they voiced their concerns about the shootings during public comment at last night's city council meeting. And I must commend the leadership at Jack's Beach. Because in all of the, the conversation from law enforcement to city council to the residents, uh, they have been very careful uh, about their wording. I must commend them. They've, they've Oh, my God. You hear this shit? Listen to this shit, guys. Listen to this shit. Well, he's. Look at who showed up to this first. Look who showed up to the city council meeting. Look who showed up to the city council meeting to discuss the 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 the, the problems in the fucking community. Look the who press. showed up. Is, is there one son in there? I can't see. The press. Nobody Doesn't else. Look like it. This ain't the press. These are people from the community. Yeah. And and media, but it's it's mostly people from the community. I don't even this is, see one son person from the media. This is crazy. The first two rows are media. There's some uh, homely looking gliders in the back. So no, no son showed up. To, it was sons doing this shit, and no son showed up at the meeting at this town hall meeting to discuss it. None of them. But you got this pastor talking about. Listen to what his concern is about this shit. Listen to what the fuck this fucking son turd is is concerned with. To say about the Jacksonville Beach Police Department's response and the local community's reaction after they voiced their concerns about the shootings during public comment at last night's city council meeting. And I must commend the leadership at Jack's Beach because in all of the, the conversation from law enforcement to city council to the residents, uh, they have been very careful. Uh, about their wording, I must commend them. They've 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 not used any of those words that will, would inflame all of us. They haven't used the word thug. They haven't used the word hooligans. They haven't used, and, and so I must commend them. Why not? Uh, <laughs> Why haven't they used it? Is that Who not what they are? The shit about the the verbiage. <laughs> the, he doesn't get it. The verbiage isn't going to keep anybody alive. But this childlike mind, this childlike son mind, he's a child. This is a child, man. This man is a, he, he may be 60, but he doesn't understand the world. Talk to him. He doesn't understand the world. It's more important that you didn't call them certain names than call them out for what they really did. Yo, Ak, there's no saving you guys, bro. Nah. There's not. no save. There's no saving this. He doesn't understand the world. And continue to hit the like button, guys. Continue to hit the like button. Continue to smash the chat. Like button. Continue to support the channel. Um, he just doesn't. Uh, listen, this is a pastor. He looks like he's late 50s, early 60s. He doesn't understand the way the world works. No, his cornbread ain't quite done in the middle. You know what I mean? Yeah. Jacksonville Beach Police Department's response and the local community's reaction after they voiced their concerns about the shootings during public comment at last night's city council meeting. And I must commend the leadership at Jack's Beach because in all of the, the conversation from law enforcement to city council to the residents, uh, they have been very careful uh, about their wording. I must commend them. They've, they've, they've not used any of those words that will, would inflame all of us. They haven't used the word thug. They haven't used the word hooligans. They haven't used, and, and so I must commend them. This is the worst thing. This is stomach churning and revolting. This is stomach churning and revolting. You got dead black people, black people in the hospital, 
fucking with fucking wounds from fucking rifles and shit. Four three shootings in like fucking four, um a few minutes. Spring break, and his fucktard is worried about whether somebody calls somebody a thug or not, or a hoodlum. Priorities. Worried about the dog whistle while the dog's got his mouth on your throat. Exactly. From his response and the local community's reaction after they voiced their concerns about the shootings during public comment at last night's city council meeting. And I must commend the leadership at Jack's speech because in all of the, the conversation from law enforcement to city council to the residents, uh, they have been very careful uh, about their wording. I must commend them. They've, they've, they've not used any of those words that will, would inflame all of us. They haven't used the word thug. They haven't used the word hooligans. They haven't used... And, and so I must commend them uh, that they've been very careful and that they haven't said anything to incite more negativity. But deep down in their hearts, I know they have to wonder, where is our leadership? from the black community. And when will we stand up and say enough is enough? 